Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. Last video, we went through the first 40 rooms of the Savage Labyrinth. Now we're going to do the last 10 rooms, but these last 10 rooms make the 40 rooms beforehand absolute child's play. It hasn't been too hard so far, but the Wind Temple section is where things really start to change. Oh, I forgot, it starts with a bunch of dead end dead ends. And unfortunately, I think it's too late to do one of these, so. There we go. Huh? I didn't really get to utilize that very well. Pity. Oh well. Next room, that one was easy. They're not all gonna be like that. There we go! I mean, yeah, I suppose this still isn't the hardest thing in the world, but... You do gotta be careful, at least, with the... Electrified shoes. How did I hit, like, every chew except the yellow ones that I was trying to hit? So yeah, you're definitely going to want to use your deck leaf here to stun numerous of them at a time. Oop, I got electrocuted. Alright, there. All that remains are the green ones. You're the last one. There we go. Still pretty easy compared to what we're gonna face. Still pretty easy. Alright, what do you suppose is gonna happen when we hit this? Why, some whiz ropes! Oh, there's three of them up there. Oops. There we go. So yeah, we had a bunch of whiz ropes there. Could be a little nerve-wracking, but still something you probably won't die to. Ooh, it's dark. Now in this one, we have to find all of the Boko Blins, and they're actually kind of hard to see because they don't have torches for once. And no, this is still not the hard part. I promise you, it does get hard. The stupid torch keeps getting in the way. Oh, well that one has a torch. What's this, a nearly Boko Blin that's actually using a shield? That's madness. Oh, there's still some left. Ooh, wait. Where? There you are. Oh, okay, that's all of them. That's a cool room. <laughs> I like it. Alright, okay. This one might actually be a problem. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so let's get our configuration. That is not the hammer. Oh, I missed! Alright, good. We'll be alright now. Oh, I missed. I missed. I'm gonna get bit. Oh my gosh, and I just flailed around because I thought for sure I was gonna get bit. I didn't get bit. What if I go from behind? 
No, no. They react much faster than the ones from Ocarina of Time. And as a result, Majora's Mask. I was gonna do a jump attack, darn you! There we go. Alright, good. Next row. They're getting harder. Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. Things are gonna be a little bit trickier now. Oh gosh, I didn't even see that one. I can't even target. Sweet. Ow! Oh shoot. Yeah, now it's picking up. No, you don't. Uh, wrong weapon, Dark Nut. There. Okay, there. It's... Now it's starting to actually get kind of hard. And it's gonna get harder. It is definitely going to get harder. Oh my gosh. Next, we have Dark Nuts and Wizard Robes. Oh, I forgot about this part! Now the edges have electricity! So now, you need to stay in the center, where all the danger is! Yeah, now it's actually hard. And now it's hard to even focus on trying to get rid of the Wizard Robes. So that you can just focus on the dark nuts. No! Alright, there. Can I get rid of your helmet? No, I guess not. Thank goodness that missed. That would have hurt. Alright, there. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be messy. This is gonna be messy. But this one doesn't have anything around the border, so... That wasn't good! <laughs> Alright, there. We kind of just want them to do the work for us. Alright, so he's gonna appear over here. There we go. This one with some strategy, you can make it a little easier. But yeah, we're actually taking a lot of damage now. <laughs> this is why you want to save this place for a late game if you're going to do it. Real late. Oh, great! Four Dark Nuts! And these are the top tier Dark Nuts. Oh, and we've got Fire Breathing Statues to worry about. So that's fun. Oh, that was not the attack I wanted to do. No! Let me do a jump parry. Oh my gosh! No! Thank you! No! Ugh. Ow! Oh, one's dead. Oh! Okay, we need to keep track of everything that's going on now. Ah! Darn it, not the right one! Alright, good, good, very good. Alright! I had a feeling...
Oh, we did it. We did it. I forgot if there's one more room after this. <sighs> Is there another? No, we made it. <laughs> Look at all the health I lost. I was practically at full health at the start of this wind temple section, but we did it. This is the final heart piece of the entire game. It's over. Our side quests, our side journeys, our side everything is done. Now, it's time to go towards the end game. We now have to go for all of the Triforce shards. We didn't even get a full wallet, my gosh. There we go. Alright, and we didn't have to use up anything in our bottles. That is the hardest part of the entire game. And I think you guys were able to see why. I, that's the closest I've actually gotten to really dying. <laughs> I didn't have to use anything, though. But it took so many hearts just to be able to say that. Anyway, say goodbye to Outside Island. We're not coming back. Except for when we need to dig up one of the Triforce Shards, because it, it, there is one at this island. But first, we have to do something that isn't fun. We gotta see Tingle, and we gotta spend a lot of money to get help with reading these charts. Because we can't read them in their current state. We need someone to decipher them. I remember what Tingle told us long ago when we first went to windfall yeah, have I ever shown off that we can't read these yeah you can't read any of them they need to be interpreted all right let's go all right hello tingle Hi. Oh, Mr. Fairy! I've been longing to see you, sir! What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mm -hmm. That fragrant, musty scent! Sir, you have found a chart! Oh, splendid, splendid! Show me, show me! Why? You can't read that chart in its current state! Impossible, sir! Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees? This is why you need so much money. Because you have to do this eight times. Become readable! Yay! Now we have to do it seven more times. This is why you need money in this game. It's why you need this big wallet in particular. Otherwise, this is going to be the longest grinding fest of your life. Or I suppose you could play wizardry. But this is still a grind. And unfortunately, you can't do them all at once. The Wii U version adjusted this a little bit so that... Three of the Triforce Charge segments just give you shards immediately, and you only have to pay for five of these, which is definitely a lot more manageable, and it's honestly kind of better that way, just because this part of the game is a little dull, having to get all this money, and then just dig up the Triforce Shards as if they were just ordinary treasures. It's the slowest part of the game, honestly. It's 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 my least favorite part, basically. Doesn't amount to much, but I think it would have just been more fun if all you had to do was find the Triforce shards, just had replace the charts with shards, and this part of the game would have been better. But they needed an excuse for Tingle, so they could have just made it so that you couldn't open the incredible chart. Well, then again, if you know where to look, you don't need the chart. I don't know. Maybe just have it so that they're all in a box and Tingle opens them all up at once for 3,200 rupees. There. 
Then you only have to pay once and you don't have to do any other random search on Are we having fun yet? I didn't keep track of how many of these we've actually looked through. But I think there's two left. Yeah, look at all this money we're spending. We had a roughly 4,800 rupees. And now they're all gone. Oh, that might have actually been the last one. Based on how much money we spent. Hmm. Mr. Fairy, I have marked the location of the Triforce Shard on your incredible chart too. When you open this chart by pressing Y on your C chart, the place where the treasure is will shine forth. Then just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. Thanks, I'm leaving. <laughs> Never to see you again. But I don't know if I ever used the incredible chart to find these. Let me see. Let me look at my incredible chart. Oh yeah! There's one right Greyfish Island, but we can just warp there. Alright. So now, we just gotta get the Triforce shards. I might as well get what I can until we reach the 20 minute mark. Just because... Otherwise, I'm gonna have a short video now and a longer video later. But this is the last thing in the game. After this, we're going we're going to the end area. We're almost there, you guys. This journey is almost over. And what a long one it's been. What a fun one it's been. Even if we have to do this right now. And yeah, this part is not very exciting. I'm sorry. And there's not much I can do to make it more exciting. I mean, we gotta change the wind, we just gotta teleport, we gotta dig things up like it's a normal treasure, we gotta do it eight times. There's not much excitement to this part. Alright, anyways, there it is. Let's get out of our grappling hook. This item configuration will bode us well for the rest of the hunt. But something interesting can happen here. If you are just a slight bit off, sometimes instead of getting the treasure, you get something else, like a random pot or something like that. It doesn't happen very often, and I can't promise it will happen. It didn't happen here, for instance. Anyways, we know what these are now, so there's really no suspense anymore all right where to next hmm there's something right to the southeast let's go there Bloom. Let's go. Alright, here we are. We're sailing the seas. It is still sunny, and the music is still gorgeous. King of Red Lion still has a big nose. You have to wonder how the king was able to manifest himself into a boat like this. And who created said boat? It's a mystery. Does King Red Lines ever blink? I don't think so. No, I don't think he blinks. I've never seen him blink, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't think he blinks. Let's not get too distracted. We're trying to get treasures. We should see the lights soon. I don't see it yet, but we will. We will see it. There it is. Oh shoot, the sun is about to set. All right, let's see. This is number three. 
All right, there we go. We got it. That was really deep down. All right, here we go. Try for start. Yes, that we do. All right, we we just go east from here. I need to get away from these ships before ending off the video. Right there. Um. Okay, we should be safe here. I'm gonna pause the video here, and uh, next video we're gonna go ahead and get the remaining Triforce shards so that we can head back to Hyrule. Until then, though, this is Mateos Fan 109, and have a nice day.